Hi guys, I just wanted to chime in on the sleep thing. Um, I'm making some videos today, so I thought I would uh, take advantage of that and make a video for this topic. So I've heard lots of great feedback in the comments from um, you lovely members of the community who are supporting each other, and I agree with all of them, like meditation, warm bath, chamomile tea for me is the elixir of life. It's uh, a fantastic way to kind of get me being drowsy. But I did interview uh, a nationally, internationally renowned sleep doctor and some of his feedback, um, I believe, was significant. A couple things. First one is, if you're in your bedroom and you're laying in bed and you're looking up at the ceiling or you're rolling around and you can't go to sleep, then get out of bed. Um, the bed should be a place to sleep. Um, it shouldn't be a place to just lay there and stare at the ceiling. So if you can't go to sleep, then go into another room which has incandescent lights, so old-fashioned light bulbs, not fluorescent lights, not blue lights, obviously TVs, computer screens, iPads, iPhones, that kind of stuff is going to kill melatonin, which keeps you awake for longer. So go into a room with an incandescent light and read a boring book. Um, read something which isn't going to get you too uh, upset or excited. And then when you start to feel drowsy again, go back in the bedroom and get yourself comfortable and attempt to fall asleep. Make sure the temperature is good. Um, the other thing which is a bit harder to explain but I've experienced myself is, um, you know, when, when I was in anxious times and I used to think, uh, oh, I really need to go to sleep today because I've got to get up tomorrow or I'm going to feel like shit, etc, etc. Um, one of the things that, was, that I became aware of was I had the ability to tell my mind to stop. Um, you'll feel like, yeah, whatever, Tim, that doesn't make any sense. But you are in control. Um, there's a good book by Michael Singer called The Untethered Soul. And in there, he talks about you're in control of your inner world. You have the ability to, to go to sleep. You have the ability to, to stop thoughts. You have the ability to change thoughts and to choose your experience. So as far as that goes, I have been tired in bed thinking, oh, I better go to sleep. And I just made a conscious decision in my mind and said, I am going to go to sleep now. And all of this noise will stop immediately. Um, and it's worked and I've fallen asleep and I've woken up the next morning thinking, wow, I actually am in control. So don't underestimate your ability to switch things off and say, look, this incessant noise and conversation isn't useful and now it's time to sleep. Something to think about, something to try out. Maybe I will make a podcast episode just about that, just for you. Um, but definitely the bit where if you're in bed and you're not feeling it, get out of bed, go in another room, read and then go back in and, and try again, rinse and repeat, and eventually you will fall asleep. Um, and then you will, you know, put together the, the thought of being in bed with falling asleep. All right, so check that out. Any feedback, post below. All good. I don't know where I'm going with that. And remember, until next time, less anxiety, more life.